After launching Vulcanverse, sign in with your MyForge account. The first screen will be the character creation screen. After customizing your avatar, click Create, pick your outfit, and click Enter. When you first enter Vulcanverse, you'll spawn on one of your plots. Before you do anything, pull up the settings menu by clicking the button on the very bottom right with the gears on it or by pressing escape. Go to game options and make sure hide tooltip is unchecked. Having this unchecked will let you see tips on the various actions you can do. It's very useful while you're getting started. Back in the game options menu, I suggest not messing with the graphics settings too much since the game is still in beta. Down in the input settings, you can change your default key bindings. And managing your audio settings is below that. Here's a quick reference to a hockey list made by community member Ormega. I'll put a link to the picture in the description below. Just like most computer games, you use the W, A, S, and D keys for movement, space for jump, and tab to toggle run and walk. To change your direction, hold down right mouse button. There's a mini map at the top left of your screen that shows your current location. You can zoom in and out by pressing the plus and minus buttons. This search button will bring up your map. You can also press the M key or click on the map button down here at the bottom right. The map will show you which plots you own in blue, and the details about those plots will be shown to the right of the map. The default action bar at the bottom is your Vulcanite action bar. For now, you have four actions, attack, forge, spy, and rest. You can initiate them by either clicking on them or pressing one, two, three, or four. To attack another Vulcanite, click on the opposing Vulcanite and click the attack button or press one. Pressing 4 or the rest button will allow your Vulcanite to rest. To send your Vulcanite out to forge, click the forge button or press 2. After about 30 seconds, a screen will appear letting you know what you forged. Pressing the 3 key or the spy icon currently does nothing. Since this game is still in beta, new features are constantly being added. As the features get pushed, I'll update these videos. By pressing X or this button, it'll switch you to the build action bar. Here you have 5 options, walk and run mode, Build mode, terrain mode, paint mode, and water placing mode. Clicking on build mode or pressing 2 allows you to place building assets on land that you own. Left click to place the asset. Pressing 2 or clicking on the build mode again allows you to delete place assets while clicking on them. Pressing tab while in build mode pulls up the build menu and from here you can go through the building assets you're able to place. Pressing 3 or clicking on terrain mode lets you terramorph your land. While in terrain mode, you will see a yellow glow pop up on your land where your cursor is. The menu that pops up in the bottom left tells you whether you are in add or dig mode. Pressing 3 or the terrain button switches between these two. The value in this box tells you how high or deep you can alter the land. You can add or decrease this value by pressing the plus and minus keys. Press 4 or the paint button and a few different colored squares will pop up above the action bar. Click on one or cycle through them by pressing 4. Each one allows you to change the looks of your terrain to a different texture. Pressing 5 or clicking on the water icon lets you place water in a hole on your land. Pressing it again allows you to delete the water. Pressing the V key or clicking on the Vulcanite button will bring up your Vulcanite menu. Your active Vulcanite will show up in the top left corner. Its level is shown as well as which blueprints it holds. All of its stats are shown to the right here. Some of these features are still yet to be enabled in beta. To dismiss the Vulcanite, click this X button. This menu on the right shows you which Vulcanites you own, and pressing on the plus button will summon that Vulcanite. Pressing on the inventory button or pressing your I key will pull up your inventory. If you have the hide tooltips disabled like we did in the beginning, Holding shift will tell you the name and rarity of the material. This middle button here will pull up a menu that shows your current level, the total lava you've earned, your spawn plot, and which titans and olympians you own. For now, this info is not accurate until it gets implemented. But what you can do is press this button to take you to the marketplace, or this button to take you to the MyForge dashboard. Pressing escape will exit you out of any menu you're in. Pressing Q will change your perspective to an aerial view, which is great while you're building. Holding right click and scrolling in and out switches you between first person and third person. With each scroll, you can control how far out of third person view you want to be. Pressing the FA key will take a screenshot. Pressing the P key will turn the plot lines on and off. H will turn off any active menus and the minimap. 
And that's just a quick guide to get you started exploring the verse. If you want a more in-depth guide on building and terramorphing, check out the link in the upper right. If you have any questions, feel free to slide into my DMs on the Vulcanverse Discord server and I'll help you out. Link to it is below in the description along with my Discord name. I mentioned a few times in this tutorial that new features will be added as we get further into beta. I was about 30 minutes away from publishing this video and a new one came out and it's a pretty cool one so I had to add it. With this feature, you no longer have to switch from the build action bar to the Vulcanite action bar to use your Vulcanite. Hover over your Vulcanite and hold left click. This brings up a radial menu with your Vulcanite's actions. While still holding left click, hover over the action you want to use and let go of the left mouse button. This will make your Vulcanite perform that action.